Folks, could anybody possibly want to see some beautiful Easter baskets for spring? Right here on my take on Home and Garden. Hey, thanks for coming by, guys. You know, the biggest event in the year besides Christmas is Easter. So we got to start with spring, and then we're going to go to Easter right here simultaneously. Unbelievable. Can you believe the time? How it flies. The younger you get. <laughs> we wish it was like that. Now, I'm going to do about four baskets for you here hopefully let's have some fun now you know i do this off the cuff every time i've laid out a lot of parts and pieces and stems and beautiful that i might want to use in the bouquets in the baskets today three wicker baskets and one glass etched eapg and in the bottom you know we're going to use a little bit of pine for an oasis, just to hold things together. I don't really have a clue what I'm gonna do. I, my biggest worry is not how to make something beautiful, it's how not to do it the same way I did last year. <laughs> so that's what I'm concentrating on. I wanna start out like I usually do with a base. And this size basket, some lavender like this. That is cute. I'm going to put that in the middle. And I'm going to go with our wonderful light lavender crocus here. And we're going to kind of circle that around a bit. And you know I like odd numbers. That's how it is in nature. You can do what you want, but I'm telling you, it works. It works real good for me. That's six and seven. I think I'm gonna like that. This is probably about a 270 view, you know, which is like this. Typically, the back is towards something. You can't see the back anyway. I'm liking that lavender so much, I wanna get another different branch in, but I want to get more of a focal piece. Here's what I want to help you with when you're doing your spring. Everything isn't screaming yellow, red, pink. <laughs> this is so realistic, okay? This is what I'd like you to look for the next time you're shopping. This is so early. The bud is green. The color is barely coming out on this. This is gonna be a, a wonderful violet colored peony, but it's so early, you see, in the spring that it doesn't have its full color. Now that's really gonna help you with your arrangement. Let's get, there's only two of these, so, so much for my theory, right? We try. I'm going to put one on each side. Now I've got some substance in there and I'm going to try the shorter lavender and just kind of build a little nest there. This is getting cute. These ranunculus are early too because they're not a full yellow. How about do you have your snips out? Why would you have your snips out? You're doing a show. Those aren't even the right ones, but they'll work. All right, I'm really liking those. I'm hoping I have another one. And I don't have to have another one. There might only be one of those, but I have white. Okay, so I'm gonna get a white one in here too. This is mostly facing you as the front and I'm working from the back. Okay, loving that. What else is early? These calla lily. They're still green. Let's try it. 
we're going to put some of them all the way around. Just let them peek out there a little bit. That wonderful crocus. Okay, it's kind of skirted a bit. And then we'll go up the middle with our focal flower. Okay guys, so I've just filled this in a little bit more and we've taken some more of that green ice kale lily and put them around. I've also incorporated in these violet cone flower and I'm loving this look, but it's a tad monochromatic for me. So let's see what we can do. I think I want to add one more element to this one, which would be a little bit of pink. This is an amazing hybrid hydrangea, and I just want to look for the right spot here. I'm thinking one here, and I'm going to stagger it. So I'm going to turn that and I'm going to put one here. Then I've got little miniature pink roses, ultra tiny miniature ones, and we're going to get that element in here. Bring this, lift this up a bit and add that element in that dimension. Let's try a, a sprinkle of baby's breath in here. I get the right one, just a, maybe a couple of them to get that element in here as well. Honestly, just, just a couple. Okay, wonderful. I'm gonna set this aside. Let's do our big basket. Everybody's probably waiting for this. Now it's gonna take a bigger oasis piece than this, but I don't want pine, right? So we're going to use something like this. It's a pick with little, well, it's a bush, and it's got a lot of little pink buds. So I want to get that fanned out evenly like this, and maybe another one on the opposite side. These are quite nice to leave together. And this is, of course, to fill your bottom in. I'm smelling success with this. I think it's going to be off the chain good. You guys, I'm going to go with something unusual to get the length of our piece. And that is a couple of lavender pieces with hydrangea because they're so big and gorgeous. Look at this, we have white, pink. This is gonna help us build our mound and fill this basket out. Now there's only two of these, the variegated one with a bud. So you see it's got a new bud. I wanna put these at the ends with, I guess there's three of these. And it's so fun. All you folks that love to do this and decorate, period, know what I'm talking about. It's so fun to get your things out that you haven't seen for a year. You know, it's just like at Christmas time. That's why I talk about this so much. It is a downer and a bummer to put Christmas away. We can't go there. We want to have fun all year. And that's why you need to get into other seasons. And it gives you something fun to do and get your creative juices going, right? Okay, let's see what these do for us. Look at the size of them. Just fantastic. I'm going to bend them a bit and arch them to make them stay where I want them. Okay, you see our second level bed coming together, or mound, if you will. And with a basket this size, of course, we have a long way to go. But we're ready. 
we need a white one down here. We're gonna need a lot more. There's the base for this basket. And I'm gonna do some work and catch this up. Here's some green. Let's come back in with some of that. This boxwood is gonna be good. Okay guys, continuing up the center, we've got some early cabbage rows. Okay, one on each side. We've got staggering nice magnolia. I think I'm gonna just come under, and these are creamy, so real. Look at this. Even the buds are fuzzy. Just like our southern magnolia that's going to be coming out. And the petals are the real feel. Just amazing. So we're going to come out the end of them. And I notice I really need some lavender here. And I want maybe two kinds, two different kinds. With this lavender Timothy, we need a real statement to split up that base color okay like this and I'm still gonna have to fill in the middle how about a different one possibly even a Russian sage here and then some very formal looking pink ranunculus and building our middle a little higher yet you see that and we have a spray now for a background so I'm at the back and you're looking at the front. Some crocus tucked in like really pro. Okay, if, if a florist was doing a $500 basket, this might look like what he's gonna do. Just some filler, greens and stems to help me get rid of that void look at this beauty i thought this would be the center piece flower of our basket that bigger magnolia there's a couple smaller ones or at least i found that one really good i've got these pink buds i'm thinking i'd like in here and i guess i'll have to bend them to get them to do what i want well, you just don't want to conform at all. <laughs> I'd like you to stand, please. All right. Get some baby's breath to hold that. You see how we're almost there. But we've still got some fill work in the center. There's our fanning background still have the front i think we might have some wonderful calla lily in here this would be like a no kidding executive basket now i'm thinking i want to finish the middle with these little brand new tulips. <laughs> Look at the colors. My goodness, does that speak Easter or what? Some little highlighter pieces. See that, that center, you've heard me before, they just, that just gobbles up everything in these big baskets. We've got our center, we've got our off center, and I think that's gonna just about do it for that one, and I'm gonna set that aside. Okay guys, now our third basket. This is gonna be different. We have some viburnum with a variegated leaf. Completely different look. And we'll go with some wonderful tall ostrich fern. One at each end. 
to establish our length of the piece for the most part. Okay, so here's the length of our piece. I'm excited about this one because I know it's going to really look different. This one is all about lilies. Okay, we're going to... Anybody remember these incredible Asian lily that we got on sale last, I think, Christmas time when we were looking for Christmas and Angela found these in the summer stuff in the bin marked down quite a bit. Look at, oh, oh man, can't hardly get going on it. I just, just want to look at them. <laughs> we'll put that in the middle. We've got to build up our center as usual. Some white. And we'll get a background of them. These are real good. I think we'll go with some more yellow here in these mums and take them up tall. Not that tall. Okay. Let's get some highlighters in. Baby's breath some accents and I'm thinking we'll just be outrageous with that yellow with these miniature violet oh, lavender uh, roses oh man Ooh, I thought maybe maybe they would work some of this must have really got cut up for them little dinky bases that some of the girls wanted me to do. And if we had little miniature violet roses, we probably would have some yellow like this. Now I'll tell you what, this has an artsy Asian flair to it. Let's try it. It's little lemony buds. One on each side. You know, we, you gotta have two if you wanna be formal. Formal balance. Just a little something in the middle. Finish that middle a little taller. Some lavender picks. Sprinkle around some baby's breath in here. That's my last big bunch. Hmm. A couple of D's and a couple of does, and we'll have it. We'll be satisfied. Now I've added a couple more lilies to this. I'm looking at the front, but I'm gonna, I think you can see it in cam two. I've got the wonderful violet freesia and I want to come out with one each on the end of that behind our yellow Asian lily and on top of the fern. But I just want this color. You can't tell how they're going to lay for you till you get in there. So it takes a couple tries. That's nice. Then I think I'm gonna finish it off with just how I usually shop, odd numbers. This five miniature violet roses I think is gonna send it over the moon. Let me know what you think. And I'm gonna turn this around and very soon I'm going to be able to take you, your favorite thing, mine too, and show you all around. Okay, I don't know. I got goosebumps over this one. <laughs> Something like this just makes my heart sing. 
You could argue which is the front and which is the back. Okay. Let me put this up right now real quick and get our little basket. So this is simply going to be quick, easier, if for those folks that don't have a ton, you know, we don't expect everybody to have the same. I think I want to use this center bush. It's kind of a boxwood in bloom. I think it'll be just about right for this. This lavender and sage will break that up as well. And I was thinking these little daisy bunches that came from Michael's a couple years ago. Look how quick. Right? Don't get any ideas now with your plopping, your vase plopper. I think I'm going to separate them with these. Break that up a little bit. Look at this beautiful pink cheek on these. Little miniatures, old-fashioned roses. My grandmother had the most incredible bush of pink, old-fashioned roses. You know, the antique variety. Hardy, you can't hurt them. I mean, they were so beautiful. Let's see if this is too tall. And we have two. I wanted to feather in these little nutty branches too and break that up. You see, now it doesn't look like a store-bought bunch. And we got some accents. We got baby's breath. Always helps. And this just looks like the cutest little country bouquet that you ever saw. Burn orange and peach made it real particular, see, with what you could use here. And we're moving along. Gotta finish. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> accent, accent. Right up the middle. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna clean this up and take it out. And show you all around. Don't be surprised if I tweak and add here and there. You know how I am. All righty.
Now folks, if you liked our floral arranging, Easter, spring, workshop today. Give us a like, a share, a comment, send a buddy over. Take care everybody, have fun, get your spring Easter on. Hopefully this helps you kickstart yours. We've got a lot more coming up for spring and Easter. Be good guys, take care, we'll see you. See you soon.